get into what happened this morning on Fox and Friends. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton tweeted out something. She's in, she's reinserting herself into this election. Here's what she tweeted out. I fear Republican sabotage of the U.S. Postal Service, including slowing mail delivery, is a Trump strategy to make voting more by mail more difficult this fall. Request your ballots and return them as early as you can. Okay, now I don't think anybody needs to to purposely slow down the U.S. Postal Service, as Donald Trump pointed out. As you know, the Postal Service for 40 years has had big problems, and they're not equipped to handle a governor where they say millions of ballots, by the way, will be posted in a couple of weeks. A gear up. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. It's a very complex process. Yeah, now think about that. Think about what Donald Trump's saying. All of a sudden, in the middle of October... You all of a sudden, the, the Postal Service, they're going about their business. They're delivering bills. They're delivering Victoria's Secret catalogs. They're delivering, you know, whatever it is they're delivering over the flyers for different candidates. Then all of a sudden, in the, or in the early days of October, they start getting flooded with ballots in the mail. But not like 100,000 here, 100,000 there. We're talking about 100 million pieces of additional mail. 100 million pieces of additional mail in one month. Think about the logistics of that. Think about the number of people you would have to train. Think about the field operations. Think about the transportation. Think about that. This is a this is an organization that is has been and will continue to be on the verge of bankruptcy forever. In fact, I heard September they're running out of money. And now you want them to be in charge of 100 million additional pieces of paper, which have the ability to choose the next leader of the free world. This makes sense to nobody. Nobody except the Democrats. Why? Well, because they don't mind chaos. Why? Donald Trump explains. You're not going to know the November 3rd election results. I'm talking for the country. It could be for months and months. I mean, actually, it could be for years, because you'll, you'll never... It, they sent... And they plan to send these ballots to everybody that's ever walked in the state of Nevada. It will be a disaster. So you send ballots to everybody. You, they come back. You have to go through. You have to figure out which ones are real, which ones are fake. You have to figure out which ones are bogus, which ones people did the wrong way. If you have somebody sitting at home and they're filling in their ballot, they're going to mess it up. They're going to spill something on it. They're going to forget to put a stamp on it. They're going to, you know, it, it, people will screw it up somehow. And the amount of ballots that aren't going to get counted is going to cause lawsuits. It's going to cause contests. If it's not a landslide, either way, either side will have legal ability to, to contest the election results in any or all of the 50 states. If this is within, let's say, 10 electoral votes, then you can go back to every state that has 10 or more. 10 or more electoral votes and had mail-in balloting and go back and demand recount after recount. You can go in there and you can have the lawyers take it to the Supreme Court. You could have another thing like what happened in 2000, only times 20. And Donald Trump is right. It could be months or years. Well, after the election in November, we've got Inauguration Day on the 21st. And what happens? What happens on the, 20, or on the 20th of January? What happens if we don't have a clear-cut winner? A lot of people think Donald Trump just continues to be president, but no. The president is out of office on January 20th at noon, and the new president is supposed to be installed. But if there's no clear-cut winner, then the president and the vice president on, at noon o'clock on January 20th are out of office. And the only person who can take charge of the country is the Speaker of the House, who happens to be Nancy Pelosi. So if you're sitting there going, man, the Democrats hate Donald Trump. Why would they want mail-in balloting? Why would they want anything to confuse it? The Democrats hate Trump so much, you'd think they'd want him out of there on November 3rd. Why would they want to potentially draw this out for weeks and weeks and potentially months? And the answer is third in line to the presidency, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. If you think President Joe Biden is a tough pill to swallow, think about this. President Pelosi. I mean, it's a, it's a possibility. It's a nightmare. It's also a possibility.